Honoring the life of former President George H.W. Bush, who died last night at the age of 94. Now, he dedicated decades of his life to public service and was a war hero. CBS News V. Wynn joining us now with a look at his life and legacy. V. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, condolences have been pouring in across social media for the Bush family. Family says he was a man of highest character and left a lasting impact on the lives he touched. George H.W. Bush took one of his first trips to Chicago in 1988 on the campaign trail. He was running to be the 41st president of the United States. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. He took the oath of office in 1989 with his wife Barbara by his side. Together, the two were married for 73 years and would have six children and 17 grandchildren. I think he's the wisest, smartest, most decent uh, caring person I know. His journey toward a lifetime of service to America began during World War II when he enlisted in the Navy on his 18th birthday. He was the youngest fighter pilot and was shot down during an air raid in the Pacific. The rescued was captured on film. I knew that if something didn't pick me up, I would be uh Captured. Once he returned, he got married, graduated from Yale University, and headed to Texas for the oil fields. In the 60s, he was elected to Congress, becoming a power player in the Republican Party. Leaving the door open. He ran against Ronald Reagan in 1980 but failed. He would go on to serve as Reagan's vice president for eight years before becoming president. I will faithfully execute the office of president of the United States. During his presidency, he took on Saddam Hussein for invading Kuwait and launched Operation Desert Storm. A new world order can emerge, a new era. The economy took a downturn after the war, and he lost his bid for re-election to Bill Clinton. He would go on to see his oldest son become president and another serve as the governor of Florida. After leaving the White House, Bush 41 remained active and even went skydiving to celebrate his 80th, 85th, and 90th birthdays. He was last in the public eye at the funeral of his wife, former First Lady Barbara Bush, in April of this year. Now, all scheduled events at the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum in Texas have been canceled until further notice. Suzanne. Thanks so much, V.